Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge here to review some Lakers action as we win 104 to 96 against the Indiana Pacers. Now, the right, reason why I groan, there should be an asterisk with this win because the first quarter looked like the most dominant fucking quarter I've seen from the Lakers. This is in a long time. LeBron James doing the business. Lonzo Ball just a defensive monster. Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, JaVale McGee all doing the work, all doing their fucking business. And they outscored Indiana 38 to 15. 38 to 15. That was absolutely impressive. Now the problem was that you know the Lakers figured, ah, we can find the late, you know, balance. In the second quarter, uh, they were outshot 35 to 18. 35 points to 18. So in the half, that should balance out, right? Relatively speaking. Why would you play like that? that my whole thing is, if you, ha if you have dominance over your fucking opponent, you ram the fucking foot down their goddamn throat, and you do not stop. Okay? I don't, what the, I don't fucking understand why sometimes. There are defensive assignments... On these players, then they just say, fuck it, I'm just gonna let this shit go. Really? Like, I, I get the the, whole, the the game itself is pretty long. It's 48 fucking minutes for four quarters. And I get that you have to conserve your energy. I get that shit. But a little bit of effort. No blow bys, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's fucking embarrassing. And at least the message was sent, I hope, and I believe. And the Lakers come out in the second half. At least... Thinking, all right, we got to button ourselves up, do what we got to do. Uh, and here's the thing. I thought, yes, we have some fucking highlight plays from Michael Beasley. Obviously, my boy Lonzo Ball, uh, LeBron James, all that good stuff. But when you look at this from a team perspective, this is actually pretty worrying. 49% field goal percentage from the Lakers. 29% for the three-point and 56% on the free throws. 13 out of 23 shots, free throws. 13 free throws made out of 23 attempts. That 56, I, I just, listen, that bothers me a lot. It absolutely bothers me a lot. And the other other huge asterisk we have to put on this game is the fact that Victor Oladipo is out. Oladipo is out, and the Lakers, who could, have followed up that dominant first quarter and set the tone nice and early and carry that forth, we couldn't do it. The Lakers don't have that momentum carrier. We don't have that foot on the throat mentality, unfortunately. And that can't that absolutely stems from lackluster defense at times. Now, situationally in the first quarter, the Lakers were fantastic on defense. But good God, you get to other latter parts of the game, you're just thinking, oh, good lord, we're just gonna you're gonna you had a 20 point lead, you're gonna let the team, you know, get within six. All right, that's great. And at one point, the late, you know, the 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 Indiana Pacers actually had the lead. So the, this became a bit of a worrying situation if you're a Lakers fan because, again, yes, we have the best player in the world. However, if we all don't put the collective fucking effort to win, we will lose. That's why we lost so many fucking close games. Okay? And here's the thing, boys and girls. Never undervalue a team. And what I mean by that is this. The NBA right now is the Wild Wild West. There is really a lot of parody. Yes, I understand there, there's a bit of cynicism because we all think the Golden State Warriors and Boston Celtics are going to make it to the end. But the narrative is kind of suggesting otherwise in the regular season. Yes, Steph Curry is out. I understand that. But it, it is getting interesting. It is getting interesting. And so my whole thing is just every team has some sort of value to them. They have talent, um, and they have the potential to do much more than what their record may suggest, i.e. the Lakers. Uh, right now, I believe we are the seventh seed in the West, 12-9, and nine, but 12-9 and nine or 13-9, and nine, I can't really remember. But um, with the Lakers, we just have to be patient. All right. when, you're, when you're, listen, motherfuckers. When you're making Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner or a fucking god awful fucking holiday you fucker celebrate, you gotta prepare the fucking meal. Even if you're going out, you gotta wait in line. Okay? 
You gotta wait! Be patient! That's all I'm fucking saying, you goddamn cunt bags. So let me know what you guys think. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on all links in the description below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more daily contents. Now fuck off.